Warning, the following video will make you Have you ever cheated before? Not with another human. What do you mean? Uh, I cheated on my boyfriend with his dog. You sick little monkey! It was a golden retriever. I mean, how did your boyfriend find out? He opened the door and I was in the doggy position with his doggy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Now imagine after watching that first clip that most of you are thinking one of two things. Either, wow, it is wild the things that women will make up online for clout. Or, you make me sick. And before this week, I would have thought this is something only the most depraved mountain people in Arkansas are into. But sadly, I've come to realize that this is actually way more common than any normal person could ever imagine. And after you see and hear some of the clips and stories I'm about to share with you in this video, your stomach is probably going to turn as many times as mine did in the process of making it. So if you think you can handle it, stay tuned. Sarah was 36 when her husband began to suspect her relationship with Miles. This woman has an affair with her dog, Miles. She talks about it like it's just a normal affair. And she's really adamant, this woman, that the problem is with her husband, John. Like, John's the problem. You decided to have Miles castrated. Well, I would say that the act of castrating Miles was one of the nails in the coffin, but the threat to have him euthanized if he found out I was having anything to do with him that way um, was absolutely the last nail in what? the coffin of my marriage. Yeah, yeah that's threat. That's the last nail in the coffin. Then the last nail in the coffin of your marriage could have been when you f the dog! <laughs> So the way I initially came across this topic was earlier this week when a story came across my newsfeed about a girl in Mississippi who was arrested for allegedly doing things that I didn't even realize were happening until now. It says a 19 year old Mississippi woman has been arrested after police discovered a video on social media of her allegedly the Jones County Sheriff Department received a complaint regarding an explicit video that they saw on Snapchat showing a human female and a dog doing oh boy. An investigation was launched which led to the issuance of a search warrant for the resident of the woman in the Jones County Sheriff Department sergeant who is leading the investigation said in his 17 years of law enforcement this is one of the most disturbing cases he's ever investigated. If he only knew what I discovered after this. Apparently the police are in possession of several videos that are so graphic that they're not even willing to release them to the public or discuss the details. Today we're going to be teaching our dogs how to come. So she was booked into the Jones County Adult Detention Center last week on April 6th and her multiple pets that she was doing this with are now receiving medical treatment. What she could have possibly been doing that requires them to need medical treatment, I couldn't tell you because as I just mentioned, the police aren't gonna tell you. And the very next day after I saw this story, I came across the clip at the beginning of this video without even trying to find it. I cheated on my boyfriend with his dog. So once I saw that, I thought maybe this is more common than I realized and I did a little research and I found the rest of what I'm about to share with you. Not only did I find a bunch of news articles from around the world of women who had been caught doing this same thing as that girl from Mississippi, usually in a situation where they were in trouble for some other thing and then when they got their phone seized, the police came across these videos but also I looked up some forums just to see if people were talking about this kind of stuff and to say the least I was absolutely disgusted. Some of these forums had endless stories of women commenting about how they had either done this kind of thing or were looking or wanting to do this kind of thing but were upset that they couldn't convince their dog to get into it. Looking for answers from other people as to how they could coax them into it. And one particular story I came across caught my eye that I'm going to share with you and it wasn't written by a woman but rather her husband who's similar to that video I just showed you is being cucked by the dog. So he says, I'm 59 years old. I'm in it. <laughs> I mean, I'm impotent and have been for about three years now. My wife told me that she still wants to stay married, but needs bedroom activity. We discussed it a few months ago and she told me that she has a solution. She said that she'd be happy with the dog if I didn't want her with another man. What a solution. I naively agreed to it and we got a bull mastiff called Max in November. Yeah, Max pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> He's 11 months old now and already huge. My wife had him in bed on Saturday night for the first time and I had to watch her like crazy. You had to watch? Why did you have to watch? She loved it and screamed all over the as she multiple times. I felt terrible as the dog was now satisfying my wife. On Saturday night, I told her I'm sleeping in the guest room and I could hear them until 2 a.m. 
They've been f***ing every night since, and my wife doesn't really care about what I think now. Last night she told me to stay in the guest room for now, and that her and Max were gonna sleep in the room together from now on. I have no idea what to do. I've been replaced by a dog! Looks like Max is the alpha dog of the house now. <laughs> Then in the comments, somebody says, this must be more common than we know. Uh, yeah. After what I figured out today, apparently it is. He says, I worked with a guy in the night shift. We had a Doberman. He said that the Doberman gets with his wife. Also, I know a woman with a Rottweiler, and she says that she... Red rocket! Red rocket! <laughs> ...to get him excited, and then... <laughs> so then another commenter here says, I did this with my dog, and it was the best I've ever had. I wanted more and more and kept doing it, usually while my husband was at work, and he had no idea how much I was doing it. I did some research and found other people doing the same thing. I was shocked at how common it is, but no one talks about it. It's extremely taboo, not to mention illegal. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't be doing it, amongst other reasons. And the thing about this story that led me to doing even more research is the fact that this was literally posted just hours before I searched for it. So if that's the case, I can only imagine how much this is actually going on. And I have to say that after today, I'll never look at a woman with a big dog the same again. So then on whatever that website is where you ask questions and people can give responses, somebody says, how many girls admit to letting their dog lick them and never tell? And we have a slew of responses here. So the fir this first person says, I'll admit to it and say I did it and loved it. And I'll tell you almost every other woman with a dog is doing this. And if you're a woman who's not doing this, you're just not living your bedroom life the right way. No, I think you're living your bedroom life the absolute wrong way. She says, dogs eat it so much better than men and don't complain when you make them. <laughs> so then the next chick says, I'll admit to it. It just kind of happened one day. I enjoyed it very much and never told anyone. This happened earlier this year and it's probably gonna happen again. <laughs> Uh, my bet is that it's already happened again, seeing as how this was posted nine months ago. Then another chick says, My boyfriend won't go down there anymore, and I've gotten so desperate that I let my dog do it. My boyfriend doesn't know, and my dog loves it, because she's so desperate and hungry. She also loves to mount, and afterwards, I like to pretend she's... Oh my god, I'm not even gonna finish reading that sentence. I wish she was a boy, so she could really go inside. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening to society? If as many women are out there admitting to this as I've seen in the past day, imagine how many women are doing this and not writing about it online. So then another chick says, I've only told people I do this who I was able to trust, or figured out that they were also into it. How, how does that come about? How does that topic come up to where you figure out that they're actually into this nonsense too? She says, so my guess is probably a lot do it, but, but don't have someone to talk to about it. Yeah, uh, we sh oh my god. Then this woman says, The first time my dog licked me was when I was a teen and my mom had taken my toys away. I felt like I was losing my mind. I was so eager. So when my dog came in the room, I stared at him and then just got the idea. I told him to wait and then I went in the kitchen and grabbed some peanut butter, came back, spread it on myself and let him go to town. Delicious. Then we tried the same on my back door a few weeks later and it felt even better. Oh. Now I'm 22. I live by myself and my dog and I do this every day. Every day. Good lord. People are disgusting. So then we have this clip of a girl who was paid one and a half million to go all the way with her dog. And after being criticized about the act, this was her response. I don't... What's the big deal there? I only slept with a dog. I did not kill somebody. You, in your life, you've done worse. And besides, have you seen 1.5 million naira before? Just, like, as if it's a big deal. Huh? I only slept with a dog, I did not kill somebody. And mind you, I'm not infected, nor anything. Do you get it? So, stop dying on the matter. I'm enjoying the money. And for those of you who didn't catch that, she's saying she doesn't understand what the big deal is. It's not like she ended someone. All she did was sleep with a dog. And some of you might be thinking, one and a half million, uh, maybe I'd be willing to do it for that much. And if you thought that, well, we're not talking one and a half million dollars. We're talking about one and a half million in Nigerian dollars, which in US dollars is about 3,000. 3,000. <laughs> so according to this woman, it was well worth it and she's really enjoying spending that 3,000 bucks. But unfortunately for her, that 3,000 is gonna be gone in no time and she's gonna have to live with this shame for the rest of her life. Then we have this story of a woman who claims to be trans canine. 
She goes by the name Naughty Fairy, and she was banned from OF for filming these acts with her pet, which is shocking because I didn't know there was any way to get banned from OF. I thought pretty much anything goes over there. But anyway, she goes by the name Naughty Fairy, spelled K-N-O-T-T-Y Fairy. And for those of you who don't know, <laughs> The term not when it comes to dogs is a reference for their manhood swelling up during the act of mating and locking them inside of the female until the act is finished. So this chick's a clever one. So like I said, she apparently recently came out as trans canine to her audience and even claimed that dog juice, we'll say, dog milk <laughs> is the best creamer for your coffee and also helps you have very clear skin. If that's true, then I'll be happy to go through the rest of my life looking like this. So apparently according to this article, this girl says that even her parents have disowned her and good for them. She says, it's, <laughs> it says in one bizarre tweet, she said, when I first watched the Jesus movie, and I think she's referring to Passion of the Christ, as he hung there on the cross and asked, Father, why have you forsaken me? I understood what he must have felt. My own parents want me gone. I literally washed the dishes yesterday. Why are they so ungrateful? <laughs> in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so you doing the dishes for your parents means that they need to accept this disgusting nonsense that you're doing in your personal life. Get real. Or rather, it's not even your personal life because you're putting it online and trying to make money off of it. So then on another site where disgusting people go to apparently get answers to depraved questions, the following was asked and answered. And how they know the answer to this, I can only imagine. They asked, what is it like to be nodded by a dog? And the response, it feels like something very thick and warm. They say, what's the sensation like when it first happens? And the response, it can be a bit overwhelming at first because it's such a new and intense sensation, but it's also really pleasurable and exciting. Do all dogs not? <laughs> no, not all dogs do. Some just don't seem interested in it. I don't think so. Yeah, like some of those women I came across who were all disappointed that their dog wasn't. Looks like it's time to send Fido to the pound and get a new pup. Can a dog not more than once? A dog can knot multiple times. In fact, they'll knot over and over again until you f <laughs> And this is probably the most disgusting part right here. What if you need to pee while you're doing it? And the chick responding here somehow has the answers to all of this. She says, well, you can just go ahead and go. The dog won't mind and it won't affect the knot. You probably wet the bed on purpose. And last but not least, what if you need to go number two while being knotted? And she says, well, you can try to hold it in, but if you can't, then just go ahead and go. The dog won't mind, and again, it won't affect the knot. 